Ladies and gentlemen, are certainly welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Command the Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time viewing the channel, please do like and subscribe. I'm going to get very personal about what I'm going to say for the next minute and a half before we start talking about the days in my Ada. Folks, I took a couple of days off the channel. A couple of days off the channel. I haven't felt that burnt out since my nanny passed away last December. And sometimes we are human. We do make mistakes. Sometimes we just can't keep all the level stuff going on. Whoever I meet in a pub or I meet out in the street or I meet at games, they always talk to me about how well I'm doing on my channel and what I should do better. And that's, I appreciate that. And shout out to Alan and his missus as well in the pub the other night in Paisley. It was great to meet you and chat to you about certain things. But I'm human. It really gets to me that I, I take time I work Monday to Friday in Scotland. I come home to Dublin the weekends. They see me two beautiful kids. And then I'm trying to do a, do a relationship on top of that. And also make content for yous. Because yous are a, lo a big part of my life. Regular subscribers that come on. Give me the comments. It means a lot to me. It shows me where I'm going right or where I'm going wrong. And when I don't get them views. And I'm looking at them saying I'm going to make an 80 views for one video I'm sitting down and prepping for half an hour what's going on wrong is a case that I'm not bothered is a case that I'm tired is a case that I'm not sound enthusiastic tell me in the comments folks tell me in the comments you know constructive criticism is good I have something that not a lot of channels have in this a lot of not Celtic channels and no disrespect to other channels that are lower subscribers or higher subscribers we all love the same cause we all want the best for the club I say it how it is. I do not hide this. Afraid to talk about the board. Afraid to talk about the club. Afraid to talk about certain fans. I say it as it is because I feel it from my heart. I don't speak on behalf of you. I don't speak on behalf of any CSC or any other association. I speak on behalf of me. Commander Hoop Celtic is my brand. It's what I built in 2011 as a Facebook page. Built it up. Made onto Instagram interviewed former players I have a good few former players following me I have celebrities following me Hollywood actors following me because I work fucking hard for what I do I work hard I don't make money off what I do I don't I don't make money the odd time I might do a shout out deal but that's very very rarely folks majority of these people I'm going against have a team of five or six of them they have their journalists the graphic designers they have web websites they have sponsors and then there's just me the guy from dublin the blow-in celtic fan since the age of 16 the fan that hasn't been a season ticket holder to some people's eyes but i'm the one that's been on the i went to four games already this season you believe it celtic on wolves and let's go at home let's go home St. Mirren at home, Hibs next, maybe Feyenoord next, and then we'll see what happens after Christmas. Folks, I don't get the appreciation like I should get. I'm not anything special in any eyes. I'm just a normal fan like every single one of Celtic fans are. Wear the hoops, wear the scarf, sit at home, go to games, sit in the pub. But my God, for some people... To give me absolute shy saying that I am not a fan. My God, it's quite premature. Because majority of my videos, let's be honest, we're in Celtic jerseys. Celtic cover in the background. I know majority, my knowledge of Celtic is quite good. And I'll be honest, which is I don't have a great knowledge of the early 80s. I don't have a knowledge much of the 70s. I don't have knowledge of the 60s like some of us do that support the channel. I've never... I wasn't around, I wasn't supporting Celtic when they had the jungle, you know. I only started supporting Celtic in 2006, full time. Full time, folks. Full time. And where I've gained from that, from making that page to 2011 up to now, just shows the level. I'm not saying someone's out there coming on and pissing in my cornflakes and making me rant about this video. I'm saying it in the respect of, if I make a video, if it's not appealing to you, turn around and say, Keith. Why do you even bother making a video on that? I might defence and say, well, I have to keep content going on the channel. You know? Because if I get demonetised, 
or being a YouTube creator, which I was six months ago, it kills me. It kills me confidence, folks. It kills me confidence because I like to wake up in the morning and see three or four subscribers go up. And I get people that turn around and say, you're picking that side, they're very one-sided. It's title to opinion. It is title to opinion, folks. We're all football fans. We all want success for the club. A lot of you were against Brendan Rodgers coming back. Now a lot of you are jumping on the Brendan Rodgers bus. We, it's like you can't win with certain fans on this channel. And I know we're all passionate. I know we all feel we want success. But just calm yourselves. Calm yourselves. Majority of us have, have been through in the 90s where success was not there until 1995 when they beat Airdrie to win the Scottish Cup Van, Do Van Hoydonk's header. And then when Janssen came in and won the Coca-Cola Cup at Ibrox and then went on to win the league at Celtic Park against St Johnston. People forget about them difficult times as a Celtic fan. I wasn't around then to support that because I didn't care about football. I was a young seven-year-old that did not care about football. My dad just kept giving me Liverpool jerseys, Celtic jerseys. And did I give a swine about it? No, I didn't. And there's no point in me being fake. I'm not fake. I am who I am. I am who I am. And to be a supporter of this club means everything to me. Everything to me. The only one thing that gets in front of me is my two kids. My two kids mean the world to me. I've met fans many times in the airport. They're going, they're going to the Celtic games. I'm coming back. And that's the reality. It hit me on Tuesday, folks. I'm not going to lie. It hit me really bad. Actually, on Monday. Flying in the Glasgow International to make a living, to work hard, to make this channel successful. I also work mine to five. And I'm seeing our phenomenal fans jetting off to Madrid. And it really, really hit me bad. I'm delighted that all of them are going over there. It's, just, it, it's hit me that I'm at the stature where I'm doing quite well with the Celtic channel and I still haven't had that experience of a European away game yet. The time will come. The time will come, but I need you to support me. Support me. No, I'm not asking you to pay for my subscriptions. If you want to buy the memberships, buy the memberships. I'm asking you just to watch me content when I post it. That's all I'm asking. It's a plea for you to support me because you're not going to get the same intensity. Majority of these Celtic YouTubers do not care about you. Do not care who you are. You're just a name to them. My channel is about building, bringing people together, getting these opinions out there. And the regular people that come on and that post stuff are phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And a massive thank you to people that I meet in the pub. I meet out in the public. I'm nothing. I am just a normal person like you. But for you to give me that confidence and say, keep doing what you're doing, it means so much to me, folks. So much. So instead of come on and tell you how I'm feeling, tell you how I'm feeling at the moment. It's a difficult time for me, but I need you to help me. I need you to support me. Because as I said, I'm going against people that have sponsorships, that are doing it daily, that are journalists, they're doing all this, but I've done it for just me being passionate, passionate about what I do. So please take in what I'm trying to say to you, folks. The end message is, I have bad days. I have good days. But don't back away from me when I'm when my luck is down. Don't back away because I'll get stronger, which I did. When my grandmother died, my grandmother died, I was still making videos. The day after my grandmother died, I still got up and made videos just for to build more subscribers. I done six flights that week, week of Christmas when my grandmother died, just to do to show you how much I'm passionate about the club. People forget that. People forget that. So folks, I'm not a season ticket holder. I don't have every jersey. I haven't met so many players. But I, one thing I do have, I love the club as much as you do. So please, don't come on and attack me when I do something wrong. I do something wrong. Because it's quite premature for people that have never recorded a video in their life to do it. To criticise some, oh he's just a blow-in. He's just a blow-in. He's just a blow-in from Dublin. Oh, he used to support Liverpool. Yeah, I did used to support Liverpool. I don't support Liverpool anymore. 
I don't support them anymore. And I openly admit that. I don't hide stuff. I'm not fake like some fans. So that's my rant, my 10 minute rant to you is how I'm feeling at the moment. But as I said, you might feel like I'm throwing my toys out of the pram. I'm not throwing my toys out of the pram. I'm just passionate. You want passion? Here, here, here I am. So speech is all soon.